everyone. Today I just wanted to show you exactly what tools and products I use when bathing and trimming my Aussies from start to finish. There's a lot of products out there, so this is not the golden standard, but these are just the stuff that I've learned to love over the years. So the first thing you're going to do is bathe your dog. Um, this shampoo I've learned to really like, it's the Isle of Dogs number 20 volumizing shampoo. I only use shampoo when I'm bathing, so it's super easy. That's all I use. Um, and then when it comes to drying, I do use a leave-in conditioner, um, and I alternate between three different brands. I use the Isle of Dogs conditioning spray, which is what's actually in the spray bottle right now. Um, I also use the Crown Royal uh, Magic Touch spray. And then this last one here is the OMG Plush Puppy Multipurpose spray. So I'll spray that all over the dog um, after I've towel dried them, and then I'll start to force dry them. Um, it's really important to dry them all the way, and this is the best way to do it. It'll save you a lot of time, um, and it really does a really good job of blowing all the hair out. If you let them air dry, that's what causes mats and also leaves all that undercoat in, and that's what you find all over your house. Um, it's all also really important, especially for those that wanna show, to get this flat tip. Um, this one's the one that'll really get your top line straight. Um, so what I forgot to mention was everything's sitting on my grooming table here. Uh, of course it's purple, which you'll see is a common trend. This is a TableWorks 24 by 36 inch table. It's really uh, the biggest size you need for an Aussie. Um, and also what's not pictured is my arm and grooming noose, which I'd highly recommend getting. Um, just so it make sure your Aussie doesn't fall off the table and injure themselves. So while you're drying your dog, it's also equally important to be brushing them out. And the brush, best brush to do that with is the slicker brush. Uh, the one I have here is the Chris Christensen A53. Um, this is the most important brush you're going to have. It does the best job of getting all the undercoat out, um, the tangles, mats, debris. This one will be your best friend. So after they're all dry, um, I'll do their nails first. Now if the nails are really long, I will cheat and use these nail clippers. Um, I have no idea what brand they are, I've had them forever. But you need to be really careful when using these because you can trim too close and get the quick, which will make them bleed and it hurts a lot. So if you do use those, I would recommend having some quick stop handy. And this will stop the bleeding for you really quick. Um, and this is the powder version. But really, the best one you can use is the nail grinder. Um, this is just a two-speed, uh, cheap, battery-powered one that I got from Petco. Um, I'd actually really like to have one of the heavy-duty Dremels from Home Depot, but this one will do the trick. So after you've done their nails, um, I move on to the bottom of their pads. I use clippers to get all the hair out. It does a really good job of super quick and easy getting all that hair out. Uh, the reason for getting all that hair out is it helps with their traction and it prevents the dirt from coming in your house when they go outside. Uh, and this brand is the Wall Arco SE. Um, there, it also comes in a mini version, which is probably a lot easier to use if you're just using it on Aussie feet. Um, but if you don't want to get clippers, you can always just use uh, some straight scissors and I'll go into those next actually. Um, so the first ones I use the most everywhere are the thinning shears. These are um, six to seven inch in length. They're Chris Christensen Jasmines, which I think unfortunately are not being sold anymore, but they still have other uh, lines on the website you could use. But the thinning shears are really important to get. This will uh, make sure that all your cuts look more natural. If you were to just use straights for everything, then the cuts will be very apparent and you don't want that. Um, but also make sure that you're getting thinning shears and not blenders. Uh, the other pair of shears that you should get are straights. I have two different ones shown here. These are the ones I always used to use, which they, they match the thinning shears there. These are the Crush Crushes and Jasmines as well, uh, six to seven inch, which these also do a fine job. However, I found I really like these tiny, um, they're four and a half inches show gear scissors and they're actually curved. Um, so this is way easier to get underneath their paws, which I'll show you if uh, 
you watch the feet trimming video, which I have yet to do. But so those are all the scissors. Um, the other thing here is a comb. This is almost as important as a slicker brush because this is what you'll use to tell you that you have all the mats and knots out of your dog. This one's my favorite one, which is the Madden 190W, but I would highly recommend getting the 190V because it has um, more closely teeth, more close teeth at the end here, kind of like this one does, but I actually have no idea what brand this one is. But I really like the grip on this one and it comes in purple. Uh, the last two things I have here are, um, this is a stripping knife and this is technically a dematter. Both of these tools are really good at getting the undercoat out, which is what you're really gonna wanna do in the summer or when your dogs are shedding. This will help cut down on all the hair in your house. Uh, this one is a Mars knife, I think 12 blade. We have all sorts of different sizes. Um, but I like the 12 blade and then this one I probably like better because of the ergonomic handle they have here. It's really easy to use. This one is the Master Grooming 6 blade. And the last thing I have here, which is probably what everyone buys first, which I honestly need the least, is the pin brush. This one I only really use after they're completely dried, brushed out, dematted. This one I really just use to shape the hair. Um, I use it when I'm ringside. Uh, this is a Madden regular cushion medium one. Um, I honestly just got it because it was purple. But So here you have all the stuff I use. Um, I'll put a link in the video text below on the products that I use and where to find them. Um, and if you have any questions about anything else, just feel free to reach out.